welcome back to my channel. My name is Tanisha Murphy and today I am starting a week in my life video. This is the first full week of summer. We officially finished school last Thursday. So we had obviously the weekend and now it is back to Monday. And it's nice because we don't have school, we don't have work. We're kind of just hanging out and chilling. Uh, next week we have a trip to Sanya planned, which is so exciting because we have not left Beijing since last July. So it'll be almost an exact year since we left Beijing last. And yeah, I'm so excited that we get to go see something else even if it's just for a couple of days. This summer, I'm not really working or anything, so I'm trying to still fill my days with something. So I have like kind of one goal to accomplish each day so that I don't get too bored. Obviously, there will be some lazy days where I do nothing, which actually might be today, but mostly I will have some sort of goal. So I'm hoping to do a weekly vlog throughout the whole summer, but no promises on that. I am in the midst of kind of a rebrand for my channel because we aren't going to be in China forever. So it's not always going to be like a China channel. And then also we haven't been able to travel as much. So I haven't been able to film much travel content. Don't really want this to be a teacher channel because I don't know how long I'm going to be teaching either. So yeah, I'm kind of in the midst of a rebrand, making this more into like a lifestyle or like a health focused channel because um, as I kind of explained in the past video I don't know how much of the explanation I'm going to include but I have been dealing with some health issues so I am hoping to be able to kind of take control of my body and change a few things will change a lot of things about the way that I take care of myself just to make sure that I live a long, healthy life. I am in the midst of kind of rebranding my channel into more of like a health focused vlog or health focused channel. So it'll be more like daily vlogs, but um, sprinkled in with some like workouts and like cooking. All of that to say, um, welcome to my channel. If you are new, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am so excited to have you here. If you are returning, thank you so much for sticking through me and my inconsistencies. And hopefully this summer, because I'll have more time, I'll be more consistent for you. This morning, Devin went to work out and I just made myself some coffee. So I'm going to drink my coffee, scroll on TikTok probably. Adam, that shit is $70. I was like, man, I'll wait to buy Black Friday. Wait for it to go. machine in the background I just got back from taking the COVID test super quick and easy it only took me about 10 minutes like from the time I left the apartment to the time I got home I just walked there like a two minute walk and then I waited in line for literally 60 seconds and then I had to get them to you know register my passport which actually took a little bit longer than it usually does it only took her like maybe two minutes but usually they do it pretty quick and then I got my COVID test, walked back home, and now I am about to work out. But first, I got some um, packages in the mail. I mentioned earlier that we are going to Sanya next week, and I wanted to order some bathing suits and some dresses. So far, I've gotten in two bathing suits, and so far, only one of them I can fit just the bottoms, not the top. Um, I am pretty 
bigger chested and so it's a little bit difficult to find bathing suit tops in China but I have one bathing suit top that works so hopefully I can just you know match that mix and match that one with the different bottoms because the bottoms seem to be fine they're pretty stretchy but the tops not so much so this is another bathing suit. I think this is the last one that I ordered. This one was pretty expensive, so I really hope I can fit it. These are the bottoms. They're just like high-waisted. Very nice. I actually really like this. This is gonna be cute. Looks like it's gonna be flattering on the sides. And then the top is this. It actually looks like it might fit me. Oh, that's great. This is a cute top too. So I think this top will work. So now I have two tops that I can mix and match. And then I think this is one of the dresses that I ordered. This is it. This is the pattern. Ooh, very see-through, but that's fine. It is like a halter type comes up. That should be really cute. It's like a like down to like my calves, I think. So that'll be nice. This is really pretty. This morning I woke up around 5.30 and I got up, went to the bathroom and then came back to bed. And then we were abruptly woken up again at 9 a.m. to construction, which is super loud and obnoxious and happens at random times throughout the day. Literally can happen as early as like 8 a.m. or be until 7 p.m. So it just happens randomly. You never really know when it's gonna happen, but it literally sounds like someone is like drilling into the walls, like surrounding our entire apartment. It is so annoying, but anyway. I am up, I made a coffee, I did some journaling and made breakfast. And now I'm gonna just chill. I'm gonna refold these clothes here. Yeah, quite a few clothes to refold. And then I'm going to go to yoga. So I go to a yoga studio in Chaoyang district called Taozi and which means peach, like a booty. And I'm gonna go there, do a lunchtime yoga class. I haven't gone in such a long time, so I know I'm gonna be so just <laughs> not good, but it's okay. At least I feel stronger doing those other workouts, so maybe that'll help, we'll see. And then I need to go to the Intercontinental Hotel where we stayed this last past weekend and uh, pick up my AirPods that I forgot. And then I'm gonna go across the street to the mall and probably get uh, lunch from Wagas, which is just like a, uh kind of like a panera bread it gives me a panera bread vibes um but like a healthier panera bread so i'm gonna go to wagas get lunch and then come home shower we are doing our date night tonight because it is tuesday so we're gonna go bowling and then we're gonna go get something to eat or switch those we're gonna get something to eat and then we're gonna go bowling so I don't know what time we're gonna do that. Hopefully a little bit earlier since I'm always so tired at night because I wake up so early. That's the plan. Yoga, AirPods, lunch, shower, dinner, bowling. date night as I said earlier so we are about to go bowling we had pizza delivered pizza and salad and now I just got dressed and we are going to go bowling hopefully the bowling alley is open it should be um, but I'm just wearing this Zara bodysuit really comfortable really stretchy when I first saw it I didn't think I was gonna fit in it but she stretches and then I just have on these American Eagle jeans they're a little bit distressed a belt and then some Birkenstock sandals because I'm just gonna take my shoes off anyway to bowl. So let's go bowling. So bad news bears. The bowling alley is closed. And literally as we were walking up, Devin was like, 
I bet it's closed because a lot of entertainment venues have been closed because of COVID. And it was. So we don't have a plan B, but we're going to maybe try to figure one out. So. Yeah, big shop being closed. Dang. Closed at 6 o'clock. Uh, try to figure out what we're going to do next. Um. <laughs> it is Wednesday morning and I just woke up. I made a coffee. It's about 7.45 and I am waking up. I woke up actually around 5 o'clock. I always wake up around that time but then I force myself to go back to sleep because it is summer. Uh, but I have two packages that I got in the mail yesterday that I thought I would open with you guys while i open these <laughs> i need to talk about last night so every tuesday devin and i do a date night and um, we've been doing this for literally years and um usually we kind of just go out to eat dinner and then come home and watch a movie um but last night we we're like let's do something different let's go bowling <laughs> the bowling alley was closed so I got all ready, we went all the way out there, and then it was closed. Literally, before we even saw the bowling alley, Devin was like, what if they're closed? And they were. So we went to like a convenience store, I got an ice cream bar, we walked for like maybe five minutes, and then we were just like, let's just go home. I didn't have uncomfortable shoes to do a lot of walking, so it was fine. Um, all right, so the first thing that I got is this a uh, pajama set so it's kind of like a silky material and it's just like this little crop top and then some little shorts with like ruffles on the bottom so these should be pretty cute i got them to wear in sonia on vacation um you know a little sassiness for our anniversary so this is a dress pretty short um, but it just like comes up here and then it kind of flows out and the bottom has a little ruffle on it. So nice little polka dot dress to wear out on vacation. So my game plan for today is I only have like two things that I need to do. One, I need to start my course that I'm taking. So I am doing the instructional leadership certificate program certificate <laughs> certificate program with Harvard with the Harvard Graduate School and it started on Sunday and our last started last Thursday and I had something due on Sunday and I literally haven't even started so I need to do that and then I also want to clean my closet today because it is a mess. So those are like my two big goals for today. I wanted to clean my closet yesterday, but I was out a lot because of yoga and then I got lunch and then we had date night, so I didn't end up doing it. But that's my goal for today, clean my closet and to do my homework. And then um, tomorrow I think is going to be my last day vlogging for this video because I think I've gotten a lot, like I've done a lot every single day and um, this weekend it's gonna be jam packed. So I think I'm gonna film like until tomorrow Thursday. So it'll be Monday through Thursday. And then I'm gonna film Friday and Saturday and then Sunday we're going to Sonia. So I'm going to start a new vlog on Sunday of us like traveling to Sanya and then our first couple days. So tomorrow will be my last day in this vlog and then I'll start a new one um, when we go to Universal and go hiking on Friday and Saturday. So it's a fun first week of summer I will say. Although like a lot has been going on with my family I think that this is a decent week to be going through all of that because I have lots of stuff to do so I'm distracted every single day. Um, because as soon as I get a second to like sit and think I do tend to get a little bit sad so it's been nice to have plans and have things to do so I don't have that time to think about everything that's going on so I hope me playing with my hair and my ear didn't bother you too much in this clip Ugh. okay so I'm gonna finish my coffee 
and then oh I don't want to do my homework I'm going to do my homework first and then I'll clean my closet second but I have all day because I'm not doing anything except homework cleaning working out so So it is about 3.15 now. I actually spent most of my morning on FaceTime calls. So I FaceTime my mom and then I also FaceTime one of my best friends, Mariah, who I haven't talked to in like such a long time. It's almost embarrassing how long it's been since we've talked, but she FaceTimed me in the middle of the night last night, but I was sleeping of course, because you know, time differences. And so we got to talk for a while actually, and it was really nice just to catch up with her see how she's doing you know and so then right after that I did um, do a little bit of cleaning so I cleaned the kitchen and then I did some vacuuming and then I started on my homework for my class that I'm taking and that took so many hours I think I've been doing it for maybe like three hours now like two or three hours something like that and so I'm really tired. I actually want to take a nap like Devin's doing, but I set a goal for myself today to clean the closet. And then I also am doing the 30 days of working out. So I have to work out today. And I do want to get my five workouts for that Heather Robertson program in before we leave for Sonia on Saturday. I meant Sunday. So I need to work out and I need to clean the closet this is what i'm starting with honestly this up here is the danger zone i have just thrown stuff in there because i'm too lazy to fold it and so or hang it up so this is like where it's all looking bad this isn't too bad but i do have some like winter clothes that i need to transition out and then i have some more summer clothes down at the bottom that i need to put up and hang up and then on this side is where i keep like all of my pants and sweatpants and things like that and you can see those are the jeans that i took off last night after we got back from our failed date night so i need to go through and organize that i also need to put those clothes away so that is my goal it is currently 3.22, so hopefully by 4.30 all of this will be done and I can show you a cool little after. recording but I'm not I wasn't I am now um, but I have so many clothes like I have more clothes here in China than I do in the States I'm like 90% sure of that and I want to get rid of some and like sell some but I don't really know how to do that here so I think I'm gonna just when we move I'm gonna take all of these clothes back and then do like a Poshmark or something 
to sell them because a lot of these clothes were not cheap because I've been splurging on clothes since I've been here and you know I feel like I should get some money back there are some things that I can donate but there are some things that I've only worn like once or twice that I definitely need to get some money back for so now I just need to go through this stack I took all of them out of the closet you can't see but I took them all out now I need to just go through the stack and um, separate winter clothes from summer clothes and then hang those up again and do it in like an organized fashion <laughs> All right, I'm officially done. Doesn't look like much, but it is organized. I have um, dresses back here, somewhat color coordinated, and then we move into like longer shirts and somewhat color coordinated. Then we have just regular shirts, regular length, and then we have crop tops and tank tops. And then down below I have like all of my fall and winter stuff up top I have shorts and skirts and then over here all my jeans other types of pants and then sweatpants so we are clean and organized it is 440 so it took a little bit longer than an hour like an hour and a half <laughs> Happy Thursday. Today I have a very busy day. So I got up pretty early and worked out as you saw. I actually woke up today at 4.30, which is too early, but my body woke me up. So I got up and I worked out, I showered, um, I just made a coffee and now I'm gonna do like my skincare. And I figured I would kind of just like tell you how the day is gonna be. I'm talking a little bit low because Devin is sleeping. It's only, I don't have a watch but it's early it's only like 7 30 maybe 7 45 um and yeah so i'm going to do my skincare and kind of update you guys on the day so in the shower i used my cerave foaming face wash and i usually use that every other day um and on the days that i don't use cerave i use like an exfoliator and it works decently well on my skin um, and in the morning, I just use um, hyaluronic acid. Come on, there we go. And then I also use vitamin C. Wow, come on, focus. And then I use this Kiehl's Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. And then I use the CeraVe moisturizer and I mix in some sunscreen from Neutrogena. I'm gonna do my skincare and talk about the day. This morning at 11.20, I have a doctor's appointment. Per usual, I'm always at the doctor. This time, it is a specialist for some of the things that I have going on down below. She specializes in adenomyosis um, and mine has gotten worse, which I found out on Saturday. And so my regular OB referred me to her, this new OB. So I'm gonna go to her at 11.20 for just like a first appointment consultation type thing. And then after that, I have lunch with my friend Cece who was also my teacher assistant this past year and will be again next year which is so exciting and then after lunch I have a nail appointment at like three or four o'clock I'm gonna get a manicure and pedicure and then that's pretty much it for the day 
but that's like an all-day thing like I'm leaving at like 10 30 and I will be gone until probably like six or seven so long busy day this morning in these few hours before I go to the doctor I'm going to uh, finish off some homework from yesterday I did most of it I just have one more thing to do maybe start editing this video make breakfast journal so yeah I have a pretty packed day hopefully this coffee sustains me throughout the day because got a lot going on all right I'm kind of in a rush but this is my outfit just wearing my Nike Panda Dunks, some leggings, no, I keep calling these leggings, biker shorts from Zara. This shirt is also from Zara. I usually wear it with a turtleneck, but it is summertime, so no turtleneck. And then, yeah, I just did my hair in these two little pigtails up at the top. And this is my outfit for the day. I'm gonna bring this bag because it holds a lot and I need to pack it up and get ready to go. from earlier I got my nails done this is what they ended up looking like like a mint green I thought it was gonna be a little bit greener but it's fine I'm happy to finally have my nails done for the first time in literally a month so I am home I've showered and I have been editing the weekly video so I am going to end off this vlog and then start a new one tomorrow because we are going to Universal Studios Beijing and yeah I am very tired if you can't tell but my goal is to finish editing this video so I wanted to just say goodbye if you like this video and if you want to stick around subscribe 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 and I will see you in my next one bye